How could I have missed this? I know the signs better than anyone. I play this game better than anyone. I played longer than anyone. Helena is always looking for ways to torture me. Tracy and she butt heads a few times. Tracy disappears. Suddenly the dragon lady's gone too. I must be slipping, Blaze. Oh, come on, Luke. Cut yourself a break. It's standard procedure for Tracy to take off when you two are fighting. Yeah, but this was right in front of my face. I should have seen it. Truth is, I was having too much fun flirting with you. So you're convinced it's Helena? Well, it's gotta be Helena. The woman lives to torture me. And now Tracy's caught in the middle. <sighs> what? No, it's just surprising. Beautiful, really. The way you love your wife. It's written all over your face. You know what? You're getting old and cranky. I think you ought to add a little fiber to your diet. Oh, I don't know. Things seem to be moving along smoothly enough. But don't antagonize me. Is life really that boring? Or is Luke the only one left for you to play divide and conquer with? Well, I do enjoy it when his passions are stirred to such great heights and, and he's willing to do battle to the death. No, there's something quite poetic and beautiful about that. But I do have a hard time imagining you inspiring that kind of fire in anyone. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to be pleasantly surprised. But you know what, Helena, you would do well to uh, move me to mm, a more inhabitable location because Luke's going to be pissed when he sees how poorly you're treating me. Ooh, such language. What, you're not, you're not happy with your accommodations? Actually, this place is crawling with God knows what and it's probably all the standing water. I don't know, the rats seem quite happy with this room. I, I figured you'd fit right in. It would serve you to treat me better. Maybe you don't care if you ever see your precious, great, great, great grandchild that Elizabeth's carrying. You and Nicholas decide that you and the boys moving into Windermere is what's best. I'm not going to fight it. You're kidding, right? I, mean, I would never consider moving to Windermere. Well, it's your choice. Look, when Cam and Jake are with me, I have no problem making the decisions, but when they're with you, I'm gonna stay out of it. I just want what's best for the boys, so I'll support whatever you decide to do. Even if we move to Windermere? Nah, it's a, it's a short boat ride. I can make it work, if that's what you decide. Gosh, oh, hi. Honey, oh my God, you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, listen, I was just telling these guys how I wanted to switch things up a little bit, so. Are you telling me you two know each other as well? Yeah, well, I mean, we were friends when she lived here, but I'm just realizing you guys knew each other from Bensonhurst? Yeah, actually we did. Um, same parish, same block, same grammar school. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. I can think of a few other words. What'd you do with her anyway? She seems cool. Yeah. I never really liked her to begin with, and I'm liking her less by the minute. I mean, who shows up at a bar dressed like that and serenades a room full of people by accident? So, you guys are together? That's awesome. Congratulations. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to watch what I say around Lulu now. You know, I have tons of dirt on this guy. Oh, I have no doubt. <laughs> you know, some things are better left in the past, and I, I, I prefer they stay there. 